Hi. Um, so we're going to go through a few articles. Um, we have a bunch to go through, and we will. And uh, so um, this is BHG. So we're going to uh, go through them, but um, obviously not all in one time. So we'll do it in the following parts. Uh, um, the, the, uh, all of them. So this is this article is in the home section, um, which is in the BHG, as I said, in June's 2016 issue. I did it as the title, This Resourceful Recycler Took an Old Tire Destined for the Dump and Gave It a Useful New Life. Here's How the Rubber Meets the Road. So, what some might consider a discard pile, Katie Cleveland calls a DIY project waiting to happen. She turned an old tire and some scrap lumber into a stylish outdoor planner for her Phoenix area patio. What surprised me most about this project was how much I really loved the end result. Um, it was easy to screw a piece of plywood to the tire to give it a base and glue about 200 feet of sisal rope around the outside of the tire. Tedious but simple. Uh, the tricky part, figuring out the precise angle and placement for the legs. Uh, her tripod design was well worth the effort for its modern appeal. What weatherproof stain protects the legs, and a plastic planner tray ensures the plants tucked inside won't rot the plywood base. Um, the legs on the planner keep screens out of the reach of rabbits. Um, drop in individual pots or one ready-made mi mixed container from a garden center. Uh, if you want to submit your project, submit it to ididit at meredith.com to bh or tag us uh, also on Instagram. It's hashtag bhd I did it. <coughs> So, so the steps she took, she used the end of an old wooden spool, <clears throat> the kind of um, used for c commercial wires and cable for the planter base. <clears throat> but any piece of plywood would wor work. Um, Materials, the tire, a three-quarter inch um, plywood larger than the tire, two inch bolts and nuts, four sets, three-eighth inch sisal rope, and approximately um, 200 uh, let's say feet, is that right? Feet of it, four by four lumber, uh, cut to three pieces, uh, each 12 inches long, two inch pocket screws, weatherproof stain. Tools, jigsaw with scroll blade, drill with three eighth inch drill bit, ratcheting wrench, uh, glue gun, super glue gel, uh, wood glue, crank jig, or angle bracket sandpaper. Place the tire on the plywood, trace around it. Draw a second circle one inch inside the first. Cut the plywood with a jigsaw using a smaller circle as a guide. Um, photo shows existing holes in a, a, a scrap piece of plywood. Place plywood circle on top of the tire using a 3 8 inch drill bit. Drill four holes through the plywood. Cut um, and, and 
drill four holes and into the side wall of the tire. Put the bolts in the holes. <clears throat> Flip tire and plywood over and screw nuts into the bolts. Mm, using ratcheting wrench to tighten. Flip tire so the plywood is on top. Attach rope beginning on the edge of the plywood and working around and down the tire. Every few inches alternate using a glue gun, which will temporarily hold the rope in place, and super glue gel, which will dry to a strong hold. Flip tire over to finish gluing rope to the tire top and inside edge. Cut at 15 angle degree at each end of 4x4 four four, uh, lumber legs. Flip tire so, so plywood is, um, let's see. Flip tire so plywood is on top. Position legs. I'm going to go get breakfast. Do you want breakfast? No, I'm good. I already ate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Okay, 15 degree angle at each end of 4 by 4 lumber legs. The flip tire so plywood is on top position legs in a triangle around the center point. Mark location. Drill one and a half inch pocket holes and into two sides of each leg, apply wood glue uh, to the top edges of the legs and attach them to the wood bottom using two inch um, pocket screws or angle brackets. bottom okay sand legs then finish with weatherproof stain uh, so she has a blog uh, addicted to DIY pro projects and features dollar wise projects including buildables with plans decorating advice best decorating to trick is to incorporate what you already have she likes uh, farm type houses, projects, etc. Tire tracking. Finding old free tire might take a few local phone calls. Some tire retailers are happy to let you pick from their discard piles if you ask, while others can't allow it due to recycling contracts or retreating business. Katie got hers from local store of national retailer discount tire. Or you can search free tires on Craigslist. Okay then. some decorating. This is a living room. Yellow and blue colors. Beige. There's some strong incorporated. Gray also. Um, there's some velvet in the fabric. Comfy and cozy appeal. This is a cottagey look. There's a video you can watch for cottage style. It's at the link bhg.com slash fresh cottage. Okay. Wall lamp room gray. And cool color. 
so let's see. And there's a little bit about a sandwich here from the Golf uh, GolfDigest.com magazine. It says sandwiches worthy of a green jacket. Chef Ming Tai offers his take on two master traditions. They might not be served with couscous or harico verts, but the low price menu items available to patrons at the masters each year are a hit for celebrity chefs and avid golfer doll. Avid golfer Amin Tai. I eat it all. Can I help you? <laughs> I eat it all, says the host of <laughs> Simply Ming. Um, of PBS. What's his go-to grub when he's at the tournament? He combines fried chicken and pimento cheese sandwiches to create a monster hybrid. It's heaven, says the owner of Blue Ginger in Wellesley, Massachusetts, an award-winning restaurant. Ming's sandwiches on steroids, which sounds like a college food truck staple. It's great if you're fortunate enough to attend the Masters, but if you're watching the tournament from home, uh, your taste buds are in luck. We asked Ty to take two of the most popular items on the Masters menu and give them a makeover. Here are his updates on the famous pimento cheese and egg salad sandwiches. They will cost you more to eat than the 150 originals, but they are worth it. So roast, red roast, pulled pork, and pimento cheese sandwich makes four servings. Ingredients are eight slices of bread toasted, one cup pimento cheese, red roast pork, and Asian slaw. Directions spread one quarter cup of pimento cheese on one piece of toasted bread top with red roast pork and Asian slaw, one bottle of... Uh, a dry red wine uh, for the red roast pork, two cups soy sauce, two cup water, one 14 ounce of rock sugar, or two cups dark brown sugar, five piece ginger, long one quarter inch disc, one head garlic unpeeled, and half horizontally, two bunches scallions, white part sliced into three inch lengths, green part sliced one eighth inch thick, uh, two star anise, three dried Thai bird chilies, um, two cinnamon sticks, uh, and four to six pound of boneless pork butt with fat cat keep whole for faster cooking cut into one inch cubes. And the Asian slaw, one tablespoon Dijon mustard, one tablespoon sam sambal sauce, two lemons zested and juiced, two, lem um, two tablespoon grapeseed oil, one bunch scallions, white and green parts separated, thinly sliced, three cups, finely shredded green cabbage, one small head of radicchio shredded, and one cup shredded carrots and kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper to help taste. So that's the red roast pork and pimento cheese sandwich. Okay, the next is tea smoked salmon and egg salad canal. Four servings ingredients, four slices of bread toasted, two cups of egg salad, 12 ounces of tea smoked salmon, flaked, uh, four dollops of chive, and Greek yogurt. Direction spread a quart, half a cup of egg salad on, on top of one slice of toast, and place three ounces flaked smoked salmon over the egg salad and top with a dollop of chime, chive, Greek yogurt. 
and garnish with fresh cracked black pepper. Tea smoked salmon, uh, 12 ounces of skinless salmon filet, um, preferably center cut, one cup of uh, and a tablespoon of a sugar, and one half cup of sake, and four inches of uh, four inch piece of fresh ginger, julienne, and one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of roasted Szechuan peppercorns or black peppercorn, one cup long grain rice, one cup lapsang, suchong or oolong tea leaf. And um, preferably cooked on a wok or bamboo steamer. You can also use it um, a grill and use a tin foil. Uh, and then the chives green yogurt is one cup of full fat plain Greek yogurt and a uh, pinch of kosher salt and one quarter uh, cup thinly sliced chives. Combine all ingredients in a small bowl. Uh, so the uh, link you can go to is uh, for food ideas from Ming is uh, golfdigest.com slash the uh, dash masters. So the dash golfdigest.com slash the dash masters. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next part. My page is facebook.com heels all play y o s a l o p l a y One more. Let's do one more. So just chop up the flavor. Let's see here. If you want to impress easily, try easy to make Asian inspired dishes. Fire up the grill and let fluid flavor unfold. Tender, juicy pork. Sweet and sour grilled pork roast. Serves 8 to 10. 2 to 3 pound boneless pork loin roast. Um, 1 cup of brown sugar. 3 quarter cup teriyaki sauce. 3 quarter cup dry red wine. 3 quarter cup chili sauce. 1 half cup, excuse me, teaspoon of ground cloves. Um, and 1, half, one quarter teaspoon of pepper. 1 eighth teaspoon garlic powder. Stir together all ingredients except pork. Reserve one cup for basting, roast, and refrigerate. Uh, add roast to marinade. Refrigerate eight hours or overnight, turning a roast occasionally. Prepare a medium hot banked fire in covered grill. Remo remove roast from marinade. Grill roast over indirect heat for 45 to 60 minutes or for 20, for, for, for each pound, 20 to 22 minutes until internal temperature reaches 145 Fahrenheit. Brush frequently with reserved marinade dressed during the last 15 to 20 minutes of grilling. Let roast rest 10 minutes before slicing to serve. On the next is Thai pork chops. There's four, four boneless pork, cho pork loin chops, and a, about three quarter to one inch thick. And uh, one quarter cup soy sauce, one quarter cup cilantro chopped, or one tablespoon of dry cilantro, uh, three cloves of garlic crushed or about three, three tablespoons, three tablespoons of brown sugar, and uh, three 
uh, oh, excuse me, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, vegetable oil, and juice of one whole lime. Whisk together the soy sauce, cilantro, garlic, brown sugar, vegetable oil, and lime juice in a bowl. Uh, in a large baking dish, arrange pork chops in an even layer. Pour, um, uh, pour marinade over pork chops, reserving one quarter cup of marinade in the fridge for later use. Marinate pork chops for 20 to 30 minutes. Heat an indoor grilled pan or outdoor grill to medium-high heat. Remove pork chops from marinade, discarding excess marinade. Place pork chops on hot grill for four minutes on each side, flipping once until uh, internal trip temperature is about 145 for medium rare and 160 for medium on a meat thermometer. Transfer grilled pork chops to cutting board and let rest for three minutes before slicing at, uh, slicing against the grain. Uh, transfer, okay, pour the reserved marinade over sliced pork before serving. So that was Thai pork chops, and the previous was sweet and sour grilled pork roast. So the pork roast takes about 60 minutes to cook. And the uh, pork chops take uh, much less. Um, it's uh, about like 10 minutes, I guess. So, so I'll see you guys later, and uh, bye.